Hi guys, welcome back to Eat Your Kappa. I am on a road today. It's my second video on the same day. Woohoo, I'm so excited. <laughs> Anyways, so today I'm going to make a pigeon curry with potatoes. It's an Assamese style dish. It's called Paromanko. It is 38 degrees here in Chennai and I have two 30 watt bulbs right beside me. It is extremely hot. So let's just get on with our cooking before I become a Paromanko myself. So to make Paromanko, you will need two large pigeons plucked and cleaned. I have two of these ready, so let's get them chopping to small pieces. The meat is ready, let's marinate them in turmeric and salt for about half an hour. Meanwhile, let's take a look at the ingredients. I know it looks like a lot, but I've written it down for you so that it would be easier for you to refer. Okay, first things first, we need to grind the onion, chilli and pepper into a fine paste. And voila, with the magic of television, it's done. So you need to heat some oil in a deep pan, drop in the panch poran. Next goes in the cumin seeds and then the cinnamon and cardamom. Uh, some also like to grind the cinnamon and cardamom along with the onion. It works either way. Now drop in the diced chilies and bay leaf, followed by the ginger garlic paste. Saute it for a minute or two till the raw smell of it goes away. Now let's drop in the onion paste and saute it for a couple of more minutes. Now you can add the turmeric, the meat masala and the chilli powder. Give it a good mix and saute it for a while. Looks like the oil has separated and it smells amazing. So now let's drop in the meat, the star of our dish, and then the cubed potatoes. Mix it well and let it cook without adding any water for a while. Finally, add about 2 cups of water and allow it to cook for a while. Also, make sure that you cover it with a lid so that it cooks better and faster. The moment the potatoes are cooked, and are of mashable uh, consistency you can mash a few potatoes to make the gravy a lot more thicker looks like my dish is ready and I'm not gonna mash my potatoes because my gravy looks thick as this paro manko goes really well with rice and with rotis as well thank you so much for watching eat your kappa and for bearing all my rant during this cook time anyways if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and i'll see you in the next episode with more amazing recipes from the northeast until then